Ever since the dawn of wireless communication, we've been fascinated by the ability to send signals across great distances. Among the many innovations in this realm, the parabolic antenna stands out as a groundbreaking breakthrough. The story begins in 1888 when German physicist Heinrich Hertz built the first parabolic reflector antenna to demonstrate radio waves. But it wasn't until World War II that these antennas truly proved their worth becoming essential components in radar systems that helped the Allies detect enemy aircraft. The parabolic antenna, which owes its unique shape to the geometric properties of a parabola, was conceptualized soon after. Its design ensures that waves reflecting off the curved surface converge at a single focal point, making these antennas incredibly efficient. The feed horn is located at the focal point. It captures the electromagnetic waves that converge at the focal point and guides them to the antenna's receiver. In case of transmitting antennas, the feed horn emits the radio waves towards the dish to reflect them into a parallel beam. There are various types of parabolic antennas. The parabolic dish is perhaps the most recognizable, widely used for satellite communications, astronomy, and broadcasting, due to its precision and strength in capturing weak signals from space. The offset dish, a variation designed to minimize obstructions like rain or snow, is a popular choice for residential satellite and cable systems. Last but not least, the Cassegrain antenna, featuring a secondary reflector, allows for a compact design without sacrificing performance, making it ideal for use in deep space communications and radar systems. From beaming your favorite TV shows, studying distant galaxies, to guiding aircraft safely, parabolic antennas are at the heart of modern communication and exploration. With this innovative technology, we're not just sending signals, we're bridging gaps, connecting worlds, and exploring the universe. And yet, what makes them so useful? Parabolic antennas offer high gain, meaning they can amplify weak signals. They also have excellent directivity, focusing energy where it's needed, and relative to their gain, they are physically compact. However, they struggle with low frequencies, as they need to be significantly larger than the wavelength they are receiving. So the next time you look up at a satellite dish, remember it's not just metal and wires, it's a gateway, an echo of the genius that started with a simple curve.